so we're at 11 days now we're at 11 days um i wanted to talk about uh first and foremost i wanted to talk about the the french review they gave a if you don't if you're unaware a french review site leaked uh their review early they gave the phantom pain an 8.5 out of 10 which would be cause for concern usually but uh they also gave watchdogs uh a nine and if you've played watchdogs um this personal opinion of course but I've played Watch Dogs, and, and it can't be more than a 7. Like, and, and I'm being nice. I'm being nice, but it can't be more than a 7. Um, there's one boss fight where the enemies spawn at random. Like, the, you'll be in an area. It's on a rooftop. You're in a rooftop. And there's literally no one there. And then there's this horrible piece of dialogue between two horrible voice actors. And then the enemy spawn out of nowhere and at random in that area. It's not so much that it's frustrating, but that it's bad game design. Like, the world can't be real if enemies are appearing out of thin air. Like, that that doesn't happen in real life, you know? So, like, <clears throat> why would it happen in my video game? And I know there's a lot of things that don't happen in real life that do happen in video games, but that's just preposterous. Like, I shouldn't be in a room, <clears throat> look around, there's nobody there, and then look around and, oh, there's a bunch of motherfuckers there now. Like, that... That's preposterous, and and to give a game like that a nine, I I just I don't think you could take that magazine serious. I don't think you could take that rating serious. That that's just bad. That's really bad. Uh, so now that I got that out of the way, I wanted to talk about uh preloading and uh how everyone in the world is supposed to be playing this game at the same time. We're all supposed to be playing the Phantom Pain at the same time. Uh, Kojima and uh Konami have stated on numerous occasions that they wanted everyone across all platforms to be able to play the game at the same time as far as the launch date is concerned so um we should all be expecting it uh the same day or the same time zone uh throughout the world which is very gutsy on their part like that that's that takes you know that's very very brave to attempt um so personally as you all know i have a playstation 3 <coughs> um I'm going to read what it says on my pre-order because I already have it pre-ordered. It says, this is the content that you have pre-ordered. Expected playable date, August 31st, 2015. Expected auto-download date, August 30th, 2015. So there you go. For me, as far as on uh, PlayStation 3 is concerned, and I'm guessing across all the PlayStation Network, uh, we'll be playing the game on Sunday the 31st. Or is that Monday? I think that may be the Monday. Let me check here. No, yeah, yeah, that's Monday the 31st, and we'll be downloading it on Sunday the 30th, which is really good news um, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the release date is supposed to be the 1st, so it'll probably be playable um, the 31st uh, around midnight, because release date is supposed to be the 1st. So that's good to hear, maybe earlier, who knows, but I'm glad that we'll all be playing it around the same time. I've also heard um some PC gamers state that they'll be getting it on the 31st at 5 a.m., which is fantastic for them. They may get a little bit of a head start. They may not. This doesn't say a time frame. Um, I know Kojima and Konami said they wanted to do it at the same time. So we'll be finding out in 11 days. <laughs> We're 11 days away. Um, regardless, I I'm happy to be playing the game the same day as everybody else. I'm happy to have pre-ordered it. I don't consider it a race um, to see who passes it first. And I'm definitely, definitely interested to see what the mods bring to the table for the Phantom Pain. I know they did some crazy stuff with Ground Zeroes. And I know th I know they'll do some crazy stuff for uh, the Phantom Pain. And, and I'm I'm very interested. I I'm very, very much anticipating what the PC gamers do. Um, hopefully you guys keep it locked on this channel. Um, for those that don't know, I haven't stated it officially yet. But I'm going to state it now. <clears throat> I will be doing my entire Phantom Pain run with no HUD. No HUD. If you've seen my um, Ground Zeroes playthrough, I did a uh, with the CQC only. I did uh, no items, no no weapons, uh, no HUD, CQC only, hard mode. That's how I'm going to be playing the Phantom Pain. But just I'll be using the train gun. I, I don't think, I'll, especially for the first playthrough, I don't think I'll do CQC only um, unless I find a way to do it like right away. Uh, and, um, I'll be doing no HUD. I may be one of the only channels that's going to be doing no HUD, and I'll also be doing no chat. So, stay tuned. It should be good. Here's to hoping. 
I hear the game is massive, so um, it's definitely not a race. I'm sure somebody's going to be playing it about a week or two before I even get to, probably sometime this week. Uh, but that's another discussion for another day. Uh, so keep it locked here. Thank you for subscribing, like and comment, all that good stuff. Uh, eleven more days. Eleven, like we're it's just like right around the corner now. We're at eleven days. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Like every day is so frustrating to me now because it's not September first. Like I can't wait anymore. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but we're almost there. Eleven more days. V for victory. See y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna press this button. V for victory. Eleven more days. We can do it. Stay away from the spoilers. Hopefully you have it pre pre ordered already. If not, whatever whatever system you choose, we're not going to turn this into a console war. Enjoy it on whatever system you choose. It's going to be great on all of them. V for victory. <laughs>